I saw what happened with Kenneth Okunko, who said he no longer speaks for Peter Obi because he doesn't think that he has the grit and the, the firmness to be able to handle issues. Are you still with Peter Obi? Do you do you hold sim, similar uh, notion or what do you make of that kind of situation where he thinks what is going on in the Labour Party needed a firm and a very, very strong handling, but he didn't see that uh, that Peter Obi was able to handle that situation the manner in which he did. Are you also disappointed with what is happening in the Labour Party? Um, let me say this. What is happening in the Labour Party is for me the noise next door. I'm not a member of the Labour Party and I have labored to make this clear before the election, during the election and after the election. I have not concerned myself with what is happening in the Labour Party. Kenneth joined the Labour Party, so it was his business what was happening there. It's none of my business and I've not made it my business. I'm not a politician. I am a citizen of a country that is not yet born. A victim of Nigeria looking to have a better country in the future. Peter Obi is a man that I admire a lot. I don't expect him to dictate what should happen in the Labour Party. When did he join them? The Labour Party is a party. He's not... Uh, I believe that if it's a party, to an extent, they would have to find a democratic mean of resolving their differences. Peter Obi is not in a position to dictate the terms of their settlement to them, and I don't expect him to. If I, obviously, Kenneth Okonko has a different understanding of what Peter Obi's um, response should have been. He is a politician, just like Peter Obi is a politician. They are the ones who decide what political tactics works for them as politicians. Me, I'm not a politician. I, as of today, if there were to be a presidential election, Peter Obi is the person I'll stick you behind because I believe in his capacity to take Nigeria in a non-violent manner to the revolution that I desire. I wish to see Nigeria turn around and I don't want to see that happening violently. And I believe that Peter will be as the mass appeal and the capacity to unite this country behind a vision for a better future. That is the basis. As at today, I don't know what he might do tomorrow that might change my mind. I'm a free agent. It might be that tomorrow he decides to align himself with persons that I do not believe I can work with, people that I believe cannot bring anything good to Nigeria. And on account of that, I might decide, okay, hasta la vista, we can't work together, but as are today, barring any dramatic happenstance, I remain solidly behind Peter Obi, and I will continue to support him into 2027 if he's going to run and if we have managed to reform our electoral system. Because any election without a reformation of our electoral system, I'm not interested. Mm. I mean, uh, Kenneth Tokunko went as far as saying for 2027, Peter Obi, Bola Tinubu, Atiku should move aside. Like, or you, yeah. or you, are, Tukunko, you are of the opinion yeah, that 2027, you are of the opinion that 2027, Peter Obi should re, uh, realign or go back to the, to the ring and still throw his hat and run again for president. That's your opinion, and that's your stand, isn't Let it? Let me put it this way. Peter Obi did not lose the last election. Peter Obi won the last election. INEC and the judiciary performed their magic. 2027, there will be no election without a reformation of our electoral system. If the electoral system is not reformed to ensure that beavers and electronic transmission from the polling unit becomes compulsory, I would not even bother to participate in that election. 